guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So what we got going on today is we have the Charisma Land Rover, sorry, Range Rover from Land Rover. Um, I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get one. This one does have the Red Cat Gen 8 tires on it. Let's see there, it is running on a 2S LiPo. It's been lifted up. So uh, that would be the it's modification, the tires and it's been raised. So uh, it's, you know, it's not gonna have the best uh, center of gravity because it's gonna be up higher now. And then we have the Gen 8 Red Cat. Um, this has some of the stuff from the Axe Edition, like the brushless system, the servo and stuff. And then it's using the uh, HPI Crawler King tires on it. So both vehicles actually have bigger tires than what they came with stock. So, um, all right, so let's get this thing out and going. The course layout. All right, so we have our Range Rover. First time running on this course, never ran anything to test it, so it's trial and error, but I'm just gonna run them, and if it gets stuck somewhere, we'll just kind of move it past it if I can't get over around it. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, it's going real well. Yeah, can I get out of that one? Oh man, really getting wedged in there. Ooh, that's pretty rough right there. I get those wheels lined up a little bit too. This part's gonna be the most interesting because as you can see here, not really gonna transition very well. So we'll test it and see how this works. Um, Uh-oh, we got some sliding going on, okay. I get that steering, it doesn't have a great steering angle since I raised it up too. I can see like that wheel doesn't want to turn to the, to the left too much. But, all right, cool. That one's done. So not too bad. All right, now onto the Gen 8. We'll say as far as on to the uh, Charisma, that electronic speed control was getting fairly high. So needs a fan on it. All right, let's go ahead get this thing out now. Gen 8. It's running on a 3S. The other one was running on a 2S. Obviously, I'm getting stuck hitting the wheel wells and stuff, but I'm okay. I just like the big wheels on here. Ah. So, had to recover that one. Oh, 
you know it's a little bit on that high i got this thing raised up pretty high so obviously it's got some issues so yep gonna do the same thing again we're gonna have to get past this point he's gonna keep doing the same thing I do like the tires on here, I just, you know, it's not set up for uh, this height like that. Yeah. It's just too high for the truck, center of gravity. Pretty decent turning radius. And we're So yeah, it's got pretty decent control as far as with this brushless system that's in the Axe Edition from Hobby Wing. I do like it. I can tell the difference with that servo too. That's a reef servo. Just because it's a little bit, it's quicker. It's got more torque to it. But obviously the <laughs> center, it's too high up off the ground. So obviously got to lower this thing down and actually be a little bit more on the competitive side. But I just like the way it looks, so sometimes looks over functionality. I did say this one had the steering angle was all right in it. There you go, a bit of power in it. All right, didn't get off the thing. Yeah, I got too much binding up going on here with those big tires. So that's what you're hearing. All right, so let's sum this thing all up anyhow. Um, tires are prohibiting the functionality of the Gen 8. So cool looking, uh, not functional really. As far as the uh, Range Rover, I actually did pretty well, surprise. Um, I thought it was gonna have more issues. I thought the Gen 8 would actually do better, but uh, it, flipping it around is actually the, the Range Rover. So pretty cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this thing. Obviously, the tires didn't really give it any advantage at all. So maybe going with both the Gen 8 tires. Um, or if you guys want to see the stock tires on here. And then uh, stock tires on here. So basically take those off. And then this one, uh, the Ranger will have smaller tires on it. Anyhow, so maybe do another video on it here soon. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Also, sign up for our newsletter. Uh, just go down to the very bottom of our website and you'll see where it says newsletter. Uh, enter in your email address and you're good to go. All right, just keep up on those promotions and all the other good stuff that comes out. All right, you guys take care. Thank you again for watching. Peace.